Good day, and welcome to our presentation of Shop Boss Pro The Basics. We'll start with a simple login to our demo account. After entering our Shop ID number, we'll have a list of users that are authorized to log into our account. We'll check off Demo and enter the password Demo. Once logged in, we find ourselves at the Work in Process screen or WIP screen. This is our home screen and contains a wide variety of information, including shop statistics an information window with updated information about Shop Boss Pro, our calendar which is used to see the current date as well as set appointments, and at the top of the screen is our site navigation. The bottom half contains our list of work in process. First we'll create a new repair order. We'll start this process here but our video creating a repair order contains this process in depth. When we click new RO we will have a list of customers to search and select or we can add a new customer by clicking on new customer. Again, please view our other videos for more information. Next, after going back to the whip screen, we can view or edit an existing repair order by clicking the repair order number button. On the repair order screen, we see the customer and vehicle information, vehicle issues, who the service rider is, the customer source and customer type. You can also view this vehicle's repair history, upload and view pictures of the repairs, and send an email or text update to our customer and to recommended repairs and save our repair order. For more in-depth information, please see our other videos. Back on the WIP screen, we will now click on Customers. This gives us the ability to find a customer, edit their information, add a vehicle, or even to delete a customer. This area is for only editing customer information, not creating a new repair order. Next, we'll look at the Find Repair Order function. The Find RO function allows us to search for an existing RO based on four different search fields repair order number, customer last name, license number, and vehicle ID number. Let's search for RO number 1054. As we type the number in the box, the list begins to filter down until we have the repair order we are looking for. Back on the whip screen again, we can view or find vehicle history. We'll search by last name and enter Burgess for the name to search. Again, as we type the list, we'll be filtered down to customers that match our search. We'll see several repair orders are displayed for several vehicles. We're looking at the 2002 Subaru Legacy. We can see the customer, vehicle, and RO, the vehicle issues, and the RO type. For more information, we can click the RO button to see more. Now let's look at inventory. Here we can view parts that our shop will actually have in stock. Once again, we can search for parts by typing in the search box. We can search by part number or description. Typing in P-E-L-L -L filters our list down to an impeller. Clicking on the link, we will see the information about our part, including description, cost, selling price. We can save our changes now and go back to the whip screen. As for settings, please see our video, How to Edit System Settings. Our support icon will take you to the support section. Here you can create and view support tickets, watch how-to videos, and begin a remote desktop sharing session with our sales and support staff. Let's go back to the whip screen. The FAQs button shows a list of common questions about our system. And lastly, our appointment system. To set an appointment for a customer, click the day you would like to come in. This will show you all appointments for that week. Click Add Appointment for the day you wish to add, then click Complete the Information section. This concludes our video on Shop Boss Pro The Basics. Please see our other vi videos available on this site for more information.